Defense Minister Peter McKay has ordered an investigation into allegations that innocent Afghans may have been sent to jail because of botched translations by Canadian military interpreters. To discuss, I'm joined by Corporal Ed Tanner and interpreter Haji Dakid. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Good evening. He said, good evening. <laughs> yes, I know. Really, your Afghanese is pretty good. Corporal, where does the military find these translators? I don't know. Let me ask this guy. Where did you come from? Well, look, the military has two streams of people. Uh, they get them from expat Afghan Canadians and locally hired residents who have uh, been screened to travel with the troops. So, uh, that's... Uh, I think he said, I didn't do it. No, no, it's okay. You're not in trouble. Just answer a the Eschen K. <laughs> Mr. Dakid, how difficult a language is it to learn? Speak on words hard? Okay, you know what? Many translators speak Dari, but Pashtun is the predominant language in southern Afghanistan. I believe the confusion stems from the two separate dialects, the Pashto and Dari. So they are going to disinfect the pasteurized dairy? I think he's speaking in some kind of code. No, 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 no. Pashto and Dari. Pistachio but... tea. Look, you know what? Okay? Do you ever think that maybe your mission here is having so much trouble because the leader that you propped up is stuffing the ballot box? Ah, uh, he said, go Leafs! No, okay, so. thanks for your time and good luck with this mission. What is the... Uh, how? What? what do you mean, how? What do you... Oh, uh, me so sorry. Okay, you know what? It's I... everything I read, man. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs>